Hey, what's up? I'm Marcos, and today we're gonna be using After Effects to create something like this. So let's start by importing the video of me throwing the coin in After Effects. Let's create a new composition and set it vertical for Instagram Reels. Now drag the video to the timeline and press Alt Command F to fit the video to the composition. Check out the original shot. As you see, the camera follows the coin's movement at the end, which will help us to create the transition from this video to a 3D model of a coin. Place the playhead at the point where you want to start the transition. Press Command Shift D to split the layer at this selected frame in two layers and delete the upper one. What we need next is to create a 3D environment of the room. For that, I took a picture with my Insta360 from the same position where the camera was. So, let me show you how to use this 360 degrees picture inside After Effects. First, let's create a new solid by pressing Command Y and let's name it HDRI Environment. Now let's apply an effect to it called CC Environment. After that, import the image to After Effects and drag it to the composition. Select the environment layer and in this drop down menu, select the 360 image. Hide the image layer and create a new camera by going to Layer, New, Camera. Now we are able to rotate the environment as if we were inside the camera's perspective. Adjust the opacity of the environment layer to see the layer below and start moving the camera to match the perspective. You can zoom in to the environment layer using the lens distortion value in the CC environment effect. Once you've matched the perspective, open the camera properties create two keyframes in the position and point of interest and animate the camera to simulate a vertical pan. Now you can right click on the middle keyframes and choose Rove across time. This way the middle keyframes will move according to the speed of the start and end keyframes. Adjust the curve of the animation to simulate a continuation of the camera movement. Once it looks ok, move the first two keyframes so the middle keyframes align with the end of the video and trim the start of the environment layer at the same point. Let's play it and see how it looks. Now I will make some color corrections to match the lighting of both layers. Next we need to find a 3D model of a 50 cent coin. I will use this coin I found in sketchfab.com from Andreas Pogneta. Download it by clicking here and selecting the OBJ file. Back in After Effects, we will create a new solid where we will add a plugin called Element 3D. You can find this plugin in videocopilot.net and it was made by Andrew Kramer, one of my favorite visual effect artists who has tons of tutorials of After Effects for free in his webpage. So, let's open the Element plugin by clicking on Scene Setup. This will open a new interface where we can preview 3D models. First, let's import the model by clicking Import and selecting the OBJ file of the coin. Now, let's add the texture by clicking on the material here and then on this rectangle next to Diffuse. Then click Load Texture and choose the texture of the 3D coin. By the way, I will leave the link of the 3D coin in the description. Now select the material and in the right panel under basic settings, increase the glossiness value. This will give the coin's material a more metallic look. Then simply hit OK and the coin will appear in the solid layer we created. Let's open group 1 in the element plugin, then particle look and increase the size. In Particle Replicator, you can set the 3D position of the coin. Perfect! Another thing we can do to improve the look of the coin is to open the Scene Setup again, click on the Environment button and add the 360 image. This way the coin will be affected by the lighting of this image and it will reflect the colors of the room. With that done, let's animate the coin. 
create a keyframe on the X and Y positions of the coin under Particle Replicator and animate the scale too. Now under Particle Rotation, create different keyframes for the axis you want and animate them to your liking. If you're not satisfied with the lighting of the coin, you can go down to Render Settings, Lighting, Additional Lighting, Rotation, and rotate the environment to make the coin brighter. Now we can animate the scale of the background to simulate a camera zoom. Click on the environment layer, open the CC environment effect, and animate the lens distortion value to match the scale keyframes of the coin. I have a plugin called EaseCopy, which lets you copy the curve speed of different keyframes and paste it into others, so in this case that's exactly what we need. Also remember to turn on Motion Blur in all layers to create a more realistic look and smooth out the transitions. The next step is to create an even closer zoom into the coin. To do that, create a new Null layer by going to Layer, New, Null Object. Let's name it Camera Zoom. Make this layer 3D by clicking on the checkbox under the 3D cube icon. And then link the camera of the composition to the Null by clicking and dragging this spiral icon from the camera to the Null object. Now select the Null object, hit P on your keyboard and animate the position to zoom into the coin. Maybe this is a bit too fast, so let's adjust the speed of the keyframes. Let's trim the end of all layers to stop when the camera zooms into the coin. But before we move on to the next step, let's add a camera lens blur effect to the environment layer and animate the blue radius to get a nice depth of field when zooming into the coin. Now let's move on to a fun part, the Earth Zoom. First, open Google Earth in your browser, go to the Layers icon and change the map style to Clean. Now I'll search for the location of the maze from my video. I'll adjust Google Earth's camera to match the view of my drone shot. Next, take a screenshot. Zoom out, keeping the cursor at the center of the location, rotate the camera slightly and take another screenshot. Repeat the process until you can see the shape of the country. Let's import the images into After Effects and drag them to a new composition. Select one of the screenshots, press Q to choose the Rectangle tool and crop the image so we don't see Google's Earth interface. Now you can select the mask of this layer, press Command C to copy it, then select the rest of the layers and hit Command V to paste it. Now we have clean screenshots from Google Earth. Next, select the first layer, press Y on your keyboard and move the anchor point to set the center of the zoom. With the layer still selected, press A, click on the anchor point property and copy the value with Command C, then select the other layers and hit Command V. Let's also rename the layers to avoid confusion. The next step is to align all the images. To do that, let's go one by one, adjusting the scale, rotation and position properties until they match the layer below. Once you have it, take the ellipse tool and create a mask like this. To see all the masks of the layer, press M. Now change the blend mode of the second mask to intersect. Click on the mask, press F and increase the mask feather value. The last step is to link this layer with the one below. So click and drag the linking icon and then select the second layer. This way we can scale down the second layer and the first image will always move according to this layer's properties. So let's do the same with the rest of the layers and remember to link each layer to the one below. Perfect, now we have to change the link order of the layers. Select them all and in this drop down menu click on None. 
then link each of them with the one above. Now select the first layer, hit S on your keyboard and create a keyframe. Then move the playhead and increase the scale. Let's also animate the rotation. So hit R, create a keyframe and rotate the video to match the drone shot. I will also animate the position. Next, I'll import the drone shot and try to align it with the Google Earth's image. Now, to see the first frame of the video when zooming in, right-click on the drone video, go to Time and enable Time Remapping. Create a keyframe, extend the clip to the left, copy the keyframe and paste it at the beginning. Now place the playhead at the end of the zoom animation and link the drone video to the layer named 1. I will create a mask on the video as we did with the other images and I will color correct it to try to integrate it more. Ok, now select the scale keyframes of the first layer, right click, go to keyframe assistant and click on exponential scale. This will create a linear speed for the scale property. You can also add small zoom at the end of the drone video to smooth the camera movement. Alright, let's add some clouds to this effect. Create a new composition, import some cloud images or videos and drag them into the composition. Make sure they have a transparent background. Create a new camera, make the cloud layers 3D and start moving them around in the 3D space. You can change the camera perspective in this drop down menu. Duplicate the clouds as many times as you want and try to recreate a scene like this. Now let's animate the camera. Create a keyframe in the position property of the camera, move the playhead and then move the camera forward like this. We will have this animation. You can also animate the rotation. Once that's done, Select all layers and hit Command Shift C to pre-compose the layers. Press T to open the opacity property and animate it from 0 to 100%. Then duplicate the layer and move the one below to the right of the timeline. This way you get a longer cloud animation. Also ensure you enable motion blur on all layers. So now pre-compose these two layers again, select it and copy the composition by pressing Command C, then paste it into the Earth Zoom composition. Now link the cloud layer to the layer named 1. You can adjust the scale, rotation and position of the clouds. Let's change the blend mode of this layer. Click on this toggle switches button and then under mode Select Screen. Duplicate the layer by pressing Command D, set the blend mode to normal, move it below the other layer and decrease the opacity value a bit. You should now have something like this. We are all set to add this zoom effect to the coin composition. Enable time remapping on this layer to freeze the first frame. Create keyframes for the position, scale and rotation and try to align both compositions. Animate the opacity and also add a mask to soften the borders. To simulate the texture of the coin, I imported the texture of the 3D model. I applied a tritone effect to the earth zoom composition and used the colors from the texture in the highlights, midtones and shadows. Let me show you how it looked in the original project file. As you can see, I animated the position, scale, rotation, opacity values and also the mask path. And to create the transition from the coin to the real world colors, you just have to animate the blend with original property of the tritone effect. One cool addition I made is a wiggle effect when the camera zooms into the earth. This is achieved by adding a wiggle expression to the position property with two sliders for intensity and frequency. I also incorporated this optics compensation effect to simulate a wide field of view when zooming in. 
The rest was just reversing the Earth's zoom and creating a transition in a similar way but with the start of the video. After all these steps and a few more tweaks and sound effects, here is the final result. That's all for this video, I hope you liked it and make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for more After Effects tutorials.